time has come. For 300 years, we prepared, we grew stronger. While you rested in your cradle of power. What's going on, everybody? So I'm bringing you a little update on yesterday's big Star Wars announcement. Don't know if you were aware of that, but Leslie Headland is making a Star Wars television show for Disney Plus. It's gonna be it's gonna be so cool. It's gonna be so great. This is exactly what Star Wars fans have wanted. So I got a couple things here for you. Some revelations that came out that I think most people probably know, but I'm gonna go over them. Uh, the whole thing about her being Weinstein's assistant is pretty interesting. And then we have reactions from the non-Star Wars fan community. We're going to go over that because these are the people that Disney wants as a fan base. It's really funny to me, and this happens in comics. It's like, we're not good enough. You know, we got to get rid of the old fans and bring in these Twitter weirdos. These are the people they want. This is why Star Wars catered to Raylos. Okay, that's really the fan base that they want. They don't want, you know, they don't want dudes anymore. You need to bring in these rabid, rabid Tumblr people to come in. That's who they really want. So I just want to go over this a little bit as a catch-up. Uh, Variety reported that Headland's upcoming series will be female-centric and take place in a different part of the Star Wars timeline than the franchise's nine films and recent television series. Plot details, attached talent, and a potential release date are undetermined. Though the publication reported that Headland will write and serve as showrunner on the series, the project is still staffing, meaning that the other significant information will likely be unavailable for quite some time. However long it takes for Headland's project to release, there's ample reason for Star Wars fans to be enthusiastic about the upcoming series. The darkly comedic Russian Doll, which won three Emmys last year, is widely considered one of the best television shows in recent memory, and the news that Headland's Star Wars series will take place outside of the well-worn Clone Wars Galactic Empire era means that the galaxies that there's a galaxy's worth of new settings and ideas that could, that the series could explore. So what would it even be? Like what is Star Wars with like taking it out of that that setting? It's almost like, you know, remember Ryan Johnson's pitch, the big pitch that got him a Star Wars trilogy? It was uh Star Wars, but in a different galaxy. And Kathleen Kennedy's like, oh, my mind is blown. So this, uh, I went over her IMBD in my last video where it's nothing but like female hooking up, like literally like movies are like a woman and a man find love in a bar or something. Like it's all these chick flicks. It's literally going to be the CW universe <laughs> for Star Wars. Like this is dumb, but this is the audience that they want. I don't even know what that means. Different timeline. Is that a different universe or is it just, you know, this is going to take place way in the past or way in the future. Uh, so this is the series that's going to establish new lore. That's great. Awesome. So let's take a look at a couple of things. Uh, this was a big revelation. They actually, so in the variety article that I used for my video yesterday, before I went through her history of filmmaking, uh, I want to point out that, they originally said in the article that she was the assistant of this man right here. And then they cut it out. <laughs> you can't cover that up, but she was his assistant. They actually hired somebody tied to him. Now to be fair, we don't know if she knew anything or was involved in anything. She could have just been, you know, setting up appointments. We don't know. So I don't want to say anything crazy, but let's be real here and honest. A lot of people knew what was going on. And the idea that she was his assistant kind of says to me that she might have been complicit in some things. So what does that tell me? Well, like most people in Hollywood, she's a hypocrite. A hypocrite. And then we've got this, the great Itchy Baca doing some great detective work here about how much she hates the ladies, particularly the Caucasian ones. Uh, she has a big, long rant here where she calls him out, says stuff like, you know, oh, we got to get rid of the white lady. The Russian doll creator Leslie Hedlund had some strong words for her fellow white ladies at the at this week's Variety Inclusion Summit. During a panel discussion that was that in it also included Vita creator Tanya Shracho and Queen Sugar producer Carla uh, Gradani, 
Hedlund stopped the proceedings to call out what she saw as the white elephant in the room. I think white women need to kind of step up their game, to be quite honest, Hedlund said. Sorry, but I'm calling you, you bees out. You really do, because, like, I couldn't agree more with everything these women are saying, but I'm also seeing the silent killer, which is a lot of white women at the top who are kind of reinforcing a lot of ideas. Then she goes on and on. Do we really need, you know, the, you know what she's going to say there. She's a hypocrite, though. And the idea, like, what does she, what did she know about Weinstein? Right. How much was she okay with that? How much was she just going along with it so she could rise in power? You know, it's just hypocritical takes. Now, with everything going on in the world right now and money running out on things, how how often are they going to be able to do these these trash projects that don't make any money? No one's going to like this show. This show is going to be trash. And maybe I'm wrong. You know, whatever the Star Wars show is, it's going to be terrible. I'd be willing to bet money on it right now. Maybe I'll be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it's a great show. It could be the greatest Star Wars show ever made. But looking at her track record and her woke game, I'd be willing to say it's going to be a dumb show. It's going to be nothing that Star Wars fans want. And it's just going to be taking this franchise further down the hellhole. And then I want to thank Data Racer 117 over on Twitter for getting this together. Uh, This has pretty much been the focus of Lucasfilm right here. These people that don't buy anything. None of these people that I'm showing you on the screen right now, they don't buy merchandise. They don't buy toys. They don't buy hot toys. They don't buy collectible, collectible gentle giant LTD figures and statues. They don't do that. All they do is bring in Twitter likes and retweets. Now, I don't know if that actually magically turns into dollars or money comes from those Twitter likes. I'm going to guess not. My, 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 my wild guess here is that t- likes and retweets don't actually put money in your pocket. It's a crazy idea, I know, but apparently Lucasfilm seems to think that some likes and retweets actually bring money in. But uh, when you look at the fact that the least profitable Star Wars movie of all time is Rise of Skywalker, uh, it kind of, kind of looks like those tweets don't really pay off, so at some of these reactions now, these are not new some of these are pretty old but it's like make star wars full get full of men again nah star wars belongs to girls sorry angry man babies anyway star wars is for girls now because fanboys are awful and don't deserve it i'm sorry nerds star wars is for girls now i don't make the rules also star wars belongs to girls now i'm not sorry there's more he always grabs the best ones here why are these people upset about a Star Wars feminist agenda? I'm thirsty and man tears sound delicious. This is the group they want. So now they're getting it. Okay, we had the Mandalorian. That was kind of a bone thrown to us. You know, hardcore fans. We got a bone thrown to us. And then the rest of the series and the movies will be dedicated to these people. People that don't buy anything. That don't buy all those. We just t- we just did a video on this the other day where we talked about how the new figures don't sell. We had a toy executive, the Diamond Select president of the toy division, came out and said there's no demand for these new characters. That's why you don't see high paid collectibles like the stuff that you know really costs a lot of money. Those high resin Star Wars statues are like a couple hundred dollars in most cases. These people aren't buying that stuff. Okay, I so I just I don't get the game plan here. I really don't. I, I never understand it, and I never will understand it. It's really just to undermine and destroy culture, in my opinion. That's all this really does. They don't. They're not. There's these people don't buy anything, and it's proven. It's been proven time and time again. That's why the tag "Get Woke, Go Broke" exists. So I'll never understand it. Never will. Just ruin franchises for no reason. So these weirdos can be happy. I don't get it. And I never will. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else. We'll monitor this. I can't wait for details to come out. Man, I'm going to... It's Oh, there's material for the channel. I'll definitely be reviewing all the episodes. That's for sure. But anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on this. As always, what do you think about this series? Let me know. Also... Share the video, throw a like up if you would, hit that notification bell, 
Make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys, as always, on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.